Robert back here, Bluegrass Bushcraft. Welcome to another edition of Knife Show Sunday. Okay, I had one more I was going to do in the series of the hobo knives, but um, I misplaced it, which most of you all have seen it before anyway, is my my case hobo knife that comes with three pieces, and uh, I wanted to add that into this series, but I've got it packed up in a box somewhere or some of my gear. I can't remember where I used it last, but it's round. We'll, we'll run across it one day. Okay, today we're going to be looking at this uh, vintage Pakistan. It's kind of unique, or at least it is for me. I've never seen this model before. Pretty cool. As you can see, it's got a big chip out of the brass right there. But I'm thinking that was done at the factory because I don't see how that would have... Uh, been done after them scales are put on because that's a clean cut on those scales. I mean, if you think if that much brass broke out, it would have chipped that wood. So that's that's got to be a factory defect. It's got the beautiful. I'm not sure. Kind of looks like a walnut, but it's got a red tint. What's wrong with this camera? A little bit bold out right there too but you would figure it would have play in the blade with being bold like it but it doesn't I mean it's, it's solid as you can see it's a uh, Pakistan 13191 I'm not sure if that's a date code I'm not sure what that is 13191 maybe I don't know. Um, good looking old knife. You got a mid stop. Good snap closed. Good snap open. It's kind of dull. I haven't sharpened it. I haven't done anything to it other than cleaned it up a little bit. And speaking of cleaning up, I'm going to show my buddy the knife detector. He just done a uh, really good cleaning video series on cleaning the knife up. And he uses the little small screwdriver. I'll show you what I use here. This is a, uh, kind of looks like a dental pick. But I mean, you can pick these up at Harbor Freight, different places, and pack of four or five, several different hooks on it. But this is perfect really get down there in those corners you can really dig stuff out of those corners with that thing still use the flat screwdriver like you were for the flat places but as far as getting up in the corners you just can't beat this this camera is just not cooperating with me today it's not wanting to focus That does the trick. Okay, so got a cut out on the blade right here. Almost looks like it might be for a rope cutter or something. But they honestly they didn't do a real good job at it because that is dull. You can see it's got a flat edge right there. Like I said, I assumed it's a rope cutter, but that's not sharp enough to cut nothing, so I'm not sure what the deal is on that. Maybe they just didn't get enough grind in there to get a good edge on it, I guess. There we have it. Big 
Vintage Pakistan. And then, um, in a box. Um, I get it out of a box. Yeah. Your house. Yep. You gonna tell them? Yeah. What are you gonna tell them? God bless. <laughs> all right. Thank you all for watching. God bless.